We got this project about four months ago, and we've been working extremely hard on it. From understanding what renewable energy sources were to actually making the car and putting it together. This is the type of learning experience that they couldn't get from textbooks. It's real world application connecting us directly to the automotive and design industry. And we couldn't engage them more than with this project. So we've been a sponsor here uh, for the better part of a year. It's a great way to expose high school students to opportunities in engineering and math and science. So we think it's a great match. I brought the Mirai by and explained to them what the Mirai does, how it works. There's a lot of components, whether it's a geometry and suspension of the car or the fuel cell itself, there's just really a bigger version of it that exists. So hopefully they can take that knowledge and apply it to their studies in building the hydrogen-fueled RC cars. Knowing that we're the only all-girls school does put a little bit of stress on us, but it also empowers us in the sense that we can be the group of girls that shows them that we can do it. Looking to the upcoming race, it's a mix of excitement and a little bit of worry. In an endurance race, the most important thing is consistency, making sure nothing goes wrong, and also that you can conserve more yeah. energy. We've definitely taken action to make each piece as efficient as possible. We are all freshmen on our team, and just kind of seeing all the juniors and the seniors that are out here is kind of intimidating for us, I think. We're pretty impressed from where we are, considering we started a little bit later than we thought we should have. We're pretty happy with the way that our car is performing right now. One of the most unique things that I think we have is a camera that we actually use VR for. We get the perspective of being on the actual track. All the stuff we've been doing has been leading up to this one moment, so it's really exciting to see that day play out. Today is the culmination of many, many months of hard work on the part of the students, and today we get to see them live on the track. Three, two, one, go! At first I was terrified, like I said, but after like the first like 10 laps, I was pretty much set. Our motor just went kaput, and we're gonna exchange it for parts that we haven't used before. It's not running. Maybe it's a remote. Is the thing not connected? Did you do that? Go. Okay. What? It's back and it's not broken. Our car has only been out four times and it's all been battery related issues. So nothing serious. Our car set on fire. We were rammed by another school. It's this wire right here. Physically burned out of the casing. And that's the race. Our first place winner is Oakwood School. It feels awesome. We've spent so much time on this, and I'm so happy to see that all the work we've put into this has paid off. Even if we don't win first place, if you're in the Olympics and you get a silver or a bronze medal, that's, that's pretty good. And it's showing us that we can really do it. You know, an all-girls school can really build a car and go into engineering and succeed. I think these students could give any university team a, a challenge. I was truly amazed. They're going to go far in life.